Well, I'm gonna do my January walkthrough on my garden a little differently this time. I'm gonna go backwards. That's the truck bed. Years ago, we had it filled with uh, spaghetti squash. We grew like 50 to 100 of them in there. Right now, I've got red Swiss chard growing in there, sallow thistle. There's some uh, onions, green onions, garlic chives. And yes, that is an avocado tree that came up and I'm gonna leave it right now. So that's growing. And then of course, I've got here, which I haven't done anything, but you know, we're just gonna leave it until spring, but sow thistle, which is really big. Look at that. Actually used it in our eggs this morning. It is a weed here, but we eat it. And there is some eggplant. This is a smaller variety, kind of a whitish purple. That's where I'm composting in place. Still have tomato plants growing. Zucchini, of course. And yes, we're loaded with zucchini in there. Some plants trying to come up, but probably won't make it if it, we have a cold snap. Um, a moringa tree doesn't look that good, so we'll see what happens. The sow thistle, of course. Red Swiss chard, more zucchini, which I picked this morning. Mm, okay, so let's, let's see. Let's go back this way. That's our wood chip piles. My husband's been moving. He had so many loads come in. He had them brought down below and up on top, so he's been moving them around. This was a high pile, and it's breaking down on its own. So I'll use a lot of that in the spring when I'm going to plant. I'll just dig into it. It will be really good. Let's see. Rosemary, which of course is just going to grow like a bush here. And chocolate mint. Here I'm composting in place for the papaya tree, which is full of papayas. There's another papaya tree. Not much. It's just leftover celery here. More papaya tree. Composting in place for, again, the papaya trees. More rosemary. And of course all our citrus, which is doing great with all the wood chips. Look at that. Can you see that? These are citrus trees. They barely did anything. And then when he covered the wood chips here, they just took off. I mean, this is amazing. And of course I'm getting ready to start composting. I'm just gonna fill, well this was full to the top and it kind of broke down, it went back down. So what I'll do is I'll plant on top of that. I'm not moving it. I'm just gonna plant probably zucchini on top of that. And of course more tomatoes, which are still growing tomatoes and strawberries. This is the moringa tree I planted last spring. And yes, it is big. Another papaya that came up in the compost. I've got to get that out. Actually came up in that little pot that's in there. So I'll move that. And this is a compost bin also. I'll probably put some more compost in there and then top it off with wood chips and plant some zucchini in there. And celery back there. This is all that collard I got at the 99 cent store. Like, bought two little trays for 99 cents and I've got collard everywhere. Okay, trying to cover my tree collards from the rabbits. Give it some time to get a little size to it. Of course, that's Swiss chard coming up in the bucket. There's the purple kale. And this is a Chinese mustard. Let's swing over here real quick. More mustard in here, and of course, yes, lots and lots of tomatoes still growing. And yet, look at this, all these tomatoes. And yes, we're in the middle of January, isn't that something? And there is, of course, dinosaur kale, purple, purple kale. I cover it at night right now. I don't want the rabbits to get it. And sage celery that I'm going to pull out and some walking onion. Yes, we were collecting water and we're probably going to use a lot of the water this week because today in January it's 80 degrees today. Beans are still growing. I didn't plant them. Some seeds fell on the bottom of the pot and started again. And this is that strawberry mint I bought. I've got to find a place where I want to put it. Oh, I just touched my hand on that. It smells so good. Eggplant. Oh, we're growing so much eggplant in there. I don't think you can see it all. It's full. There's, it's full. I mean, there must be, look at this, 30 of them? Maybe more? They're just full. And that's one eggplant in there. I did move another one that I had on my deck here. 
I actually took the bottom out of this pot pretty much not all of it but most of it and I'm hoping it will just take off in here and this is another one of these bins that I compost in place so I just sat it on top so hopefully it'll take off and of course uh, red sorrow and celery and more collard garlic chives back there let's see spearmint all over the ground I'll be cutting a lot of that back for the summer. I don't worry about it right now because I make a lot of tea and I like mixing the spearmint with lemon verbena. But in the summer, I'm going to have to cut it back because we do have rattlesnakes. So I want to be able to see the rattlesnakes before they see me. Anyways, let's see in here. I've got the curry plant in there and I think there's another zucchini back there and tomatoes growing all over the place. I will try to control that a little bit come spring when I start planting. I'm going to be a little more selective. I'm going to plant what I want to plant. And yes, another papaya that came up out in the compost. Let's see. Okay. This is that broccoli cauliflower cross. Did I say cauliflower? No, 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 no. Collard. It's collard sprouting broccoli cross that I planted. It's got a nice big trunk. Look how it grew so big. But... It's a cross, so we'll see what happens. Still might be good. I mean, it's be good to eat. Tomatoes still growing. Oh, some stuff here. I'm going to just see what happens. Different Swiss chard, more collard. I think there's an avocado seed that came up in there. Some zucchini. I'm not sure if there's any zucchini on here. Oh, yes, there is. It's growing. Okay, this is another one of the crosses. The um, sprouting broccoli colored cross, because I planted a couple of them. I topped it. So it is growing different heads, so we'll see how this grows. Look at the collar that came up. Isn't that beautiful? Green. I think there's still peppers in here. Yep, there's some peppers down there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's peppers in there. I saw, here's that other pepper. This is the ones I planted this year. They're, they come in black. See, they're black. And then when they ripen, they turn red. Let's see, there's some more peppers. Those are mini bells. I prefer mini bells, so that's the ones I go with right now. Um, this I didn't do anything with. Collard seed just fell in there and started growing. I haven't really planted anything. Clearing this out in here, it kind of got really overgrown. So I, again, I want to go back and be more selective. This spring, which is what, we start planting here another month or so. A lot of these pots have no bottoms. This one even broke. But these pots in here have no bottom, so I'll just fill up a whole bunch of wood chips in there and then just start planting in the spring. And the popolo is still full of seeds. Look at that. And it's still growing. It's very confused. It should be long dead and gone, but we have not had winter this year. We had some rain and there was flooding in different areas, but now we're back to 80 degrees. This is all my sprouting broccoli, and look at that. As soon as it rained, it just went crazy. There's broccoli, little broccoli heads everywhere. This is so good to eat. I've been snapping them off and eating them. Let's see. Uh, look at this. We still have strawberries. Uh, isn't that gorgeous? Still have strawberries growing all over their strawberries. Been picking them and eating them. And again, more sprouting broccoli growing through here. Onions, celery everywhere. It grows like a weed here. I only planted some strawberries on the top here. And this year I'll have to plant more. I just the mint kind of took over in there and I let, let it grow. And this is my dinosaur kale. Look at that. I mean, the trunks are massive. Look at the trunks. Fell over a little bit. I'm trying to get it up. It fell over with the rain and now it's bending. Look at this, it's bending on its own. I put a pole here to hold it right now because I don't want it to snap off. And so now the leaves are bending up. And this is only in, what, three days? Let's see. Like I said, remember, not much. Uh, let's see what's in here. Okay, in here, more south thistle. And then, of course, I had a carrot, a purple carrot, and I threw the top in there, and it's growing. Maybe I'll get some seeds out of that. Get a lot of seeds that way. And then curly kale. Um... Again, this is all my dinosaur kale. I think I planted, I think there's five plants in here and then it just took off. Look at the trunk, they're, they're trees. 
Maybe you can see that. It's a tree and then it just goes out everywhere. Isn't that something? I collect um, the yellow leaves, not the brown leaves. I collect the yellow leaves and make the greatest compost tea. Uh, my plants love it. I'll have to show you how I do that because it's free and you put it on the plants and within days they're so green. I've actually started to pour some around. Let's see, more peppers are growing here and tomatoes are still growing. Um, this is just, I'm starting to throw some compost in there. Let's see, more, more buckets we've got all over. Like I said, we'll use a lot of that. And more peppers. Those are yellow mini bells. And then I've got some mushroom plants in there. I've got some stuff that, oh, the tomatillos died back. They do not winter well once they're big. I have small ones growing, but um, when they, you know, cool down, they, they didn't hang in there like the tomatoes. Lemon verbena. These are, this is the plant I bought a few months ago, and I stuck it on top of my compost. And the thing is just huge now. I don't know if you can see it. It's just huge. So I got to trim it and take care of it and figure out how to take care of it. Let's see. And then sorrel. And then around the corner here, still growing the ubays. And then, of course, Gary's. Let's see if I can get down here without breaking my neck. Um, they have not gone dormant yet. Some of them have, but you probably can see they really have not gone dormant, so he hasn't tried to dig anything up yet. So he still has pretty much the same thing going on. Look at all the elephant food. My husband eats it. I don't like the taste. Let's put it this way. If something happened and there was nothing in the store and I didn't have enough to eat, which I think I have enough anyways, but if I didn't, I would eat it, knowing that it's got a lot of nutrition. But otherwise, he can eat it, not me. And then I picked up some lettuce. And I can't really put the lettuce on the ground because I have so many rabbits. We don't want to talk about rabbits. Because if I complain about the rabbits, I'll be coming in at night and he'll be having dinner cooked and I won't know if it's chicken or you know what. So I like my rabbits, I told him. Anyways, what I did was I'm going to fix up my table. It's up against the house here. And I'm going to plant a lot of lettuce and this has worked out really well. I bought one tray of lettuce. And do you know we've had salad every single night from one tray of lettuce? I can't believe how fast it's growing. Look at my ginger, it's turning yellow. I'm finally gonna be able to get in there and get some fresh ginger and make some ginger cookies, yes. But this is the lemon verbena. I picked this up at the nursery for half price. And I thought they weren't watering it, but they were watering it. They're root bound, really bad. So I gotta get them out of here. And I'll probably put some in the ground and see if I can get some big bushes growing. But, you know, this is good for anybody. If you want to do something really simple, I picked up these containers at Daiso for $1.50. I really liked them because, I don't know if I can show you, but the bottom's got all these holes on it. And I thought I might put them on top of my compost bins that I do. I do the compost in place. But I ended up putting them here. And each one, I just put two plants in. I just sat these here. I kind of sat this here because it was so dry. I use this plastic lid just as a like a mulch so see how wet it is underneath you can put anything on top and use that as a ground cover so I kind of left that there and make sure the lettuce um, keeps enough water in it because if they dry out and then you start watering it again and the weather gets a little warm they'll bolt they'll think oh it's time to start going to seed so I don't want them to go to seed yet but can you imagine spending a few dollars on one tray of mixed lettuce and I am getting salad every single night for Gary and I. Anybody can do that. There were six plants in the tray. I separated them. I put two in each container here and then I put the other ones here. We get lettuce every single day. So anybody can can do that. So that's so easy. So anyways they're up off the ground because the rabbits will eat them. This is stevia, and I add that into my mint tea when I make it. A lot of it went to seed, so I'm going to be cutting it down and trimming it back. But it's already coming up from the bottom. A lot of it got brown, and I thought it was gone, and it, it thinks it's spring. So it's already coming back. 
And that's pretty much it. I um, planted some mustard in the bricks here. Some purple mustard. And put a basket over it because our wild rabbits decided that they like onions and mustard too. So now I gotta cover that a little bit from them. Yes, we could thin the rabbits down, but I really enjoy coming out here and seeing the rabbits hopping around. And eventually the coyotes will get them, so there won't be as many. That's pretty much it. This is the tomato plants, and let me tell you, these they are coming up in my compost bins here where I compost in place, and they are loaded, just loaded with tomatoes. They're all green because I've been pulling them. Now look at this, full of tomatoes in January. Tomatoes everywhere. Look at this, red tomatoes that I didn't pick yet. I'll make a salad tonight. So we've We've had tomatoes all year. Isn't that something? And here's a little twig that I stuck in here. A little fig tree. Just stuck it in the pot. And it's growing. Now i got to find the place to plant it. That's a good fig, too. That tastes really good. So that's the update for January. Not a lot of change, but like I said, I'm going to be a little more selective because last year I let a lot of things grow. If it looked like it was growing, I let it grow well. This year I'm going to do things a little differently. I am going to be a little more selective. Oh, here's some basil. So we have basil. But uh, I, I do want to be more selective. I want to get more lettuce growing. I actually just picked up a tray of cold freckled lettuce. And it looks like romaine. Kind of looks like this. But it's speckled all in red. And I found one tray that every single one was the same plant. So a lot of times you look at these trays and they're not. They have different things growing. So I have one tray with speckled lettuce and freckled lettuce. And I'm going to plant it out front here. I'm not sure ex exactly yet how I'm going to do it. But I am going to do it. And that should be a lot of fun. So I want to have a certain amount of lettuce. I don't need a lot of lettuce. Um, I do grow romaine, but it, grow it bolts right away. And here it gets morning sun, and then it gets shade. And I'm hoping it will do better here. I have some other areas I'm going to try to grow lettuce too, because we get so warm. And lettuce, I don't want to say it doesn't like it, because that's not the problem. It's not that it doesn't like it, but it bolts. It thinks it's time to set seed. So with that, I think that's good enough for now, because I really don't see a whole lot of change from last month. I mean, the... Uh, Dinosaur kale is doing beautiful. It's so green, it's blue. Literally blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this, it's just blue. And I had made uh, eggs this morning. Just take four eggs and about a pound of greens and mix it all in, throw it in a frying pan. And don't, I don't even flip it anymore, big frying pan, let it simmer and then put the lid on it, let it sit for about five, 10 minutes and it's good to eat and it's healthy too. All right. So, this is January, sun's starting to go down. Didn't want to do it earlier because it was so bright and hot. So I figured I would do it now. So have a great day. And don't forget to start thinking about your garden because it's going to be time to start gardening in some places. And yes, some places I know won't be starting until March or April. But start thinking about it. In the next month or so, you can start planting seeds in the house and getting, you know, a good start so when it's time to plant you'll have some seedlings ready to go out so with that don't forget to eat what you grow bye bye